in Yoruba land. Beefs, as you have said, is part of the makeup for not only women, but let's take the umbrella for traditional honorary chiefs, for princes and for princesses, and those who are from the royal lineage. Now, your question is uh, particularly on women wearing beads. Beads is uh, an apparel which forms part of the old. In this case, a woman, a typical Yoruba woman, maiden, that is, a woman who is yet to marry. She was dressed three piece female dress that is the hero wrapper the buba which you call blouse and the head tie which is gilly and in doing such she must put on some other apparatus earrings beads before the impression of the british or other people into our culture now you can add, you can add wrist watches. So for the beads, it shows she's from royalty and that she's a maiden because the different qualities of beads, colors, sizes, they have different meanings, connotations. Now, for married women, the ladies, theirs must be four. The hero, the buba, the etai, and the trova, which they call, what we Yorubas call the bone. So, Wundia made it. Adelebo married. So, once you see them, you know where they belong. Loyalty. People of high values and morality. That they are not ordinary. Those who are from outside royalty, if they so desire, because these and all the apparatus I've just uh, mentioned are not limited or restricted to reality. Homes, because in uh, Yoruba land, you have royalty, yes, and then you have aristocracy. In your land, they may not be homes or states for kingship. But your land means those from home or aristocracy. And they must display the best form of Yoruba culture and values. So, talking about those things. From babyhood, parents will put on the hand bead for ladies, the waist bead, and the anklet as they are going, so it becomes part of them. By the time they reach the age of four or five, and you don't put on this thing for them, naturally they have, they ask for that picture. As for the boys, just the uh, bangle, but when you become a youth or a man, Digital to depict your background, reality aristocracy. But if by chance or upon recognition you become a chief honorary, you wear the beads. In the Bible system, traditional, you wear it. So the beads for women start from babyhood and they are teaching her to keep her chastity. And as she grows, they increase the number 
first of all, they may start with just one. By the time she goes to two on her own, when she can afford it, it goes up. And without without any evil or any evil intention or cross me from intention to promiscuity, she starts to walk with the beast shape. That is, she has been moved from being ordinary to a business or a lady. So when you wear, when ladies wear beads, is to connote their innocence. So I say that and when they get married and start production, babies, all that continues. That's why in Yoruba land there is a song that you know mother having law attack before the event of a white culture and machine, grinding machines, blender and all that. Yeah. So now when you need not you need her to do it. As you are doing this the this will be shaking and you reverse have a song for that. Yeah will lot out in the chance. In the care ma shall so more lot that is white. Standing pen, pen, the bees are talking or singing. Wait, bees stop shaking or singing. Let her finish uh, it. Grinding pen, pen. So, one is for culture, two is vogue, three is to show style, big style. And as I said at the beginning, there are different qualities of ordinary beats, high quality beats. You don't use, you don't use high quality beats ordinarily. You just put on the beats. But when you have high class functions, and since you are not nobody, only, only your man or yourself can see yourself in privacy, you will be, you will be starting from your beats, you know, abomination. So you'll be happy with yourself that one, I am complete, two, I am dead, actually, and we are all this is not limited to Yoruba, ladies and men, you know? other cultures have it, Indians, Arabs, Jews, mention it, not just of West Africa, it's traditional, the so-called Technology with the so called shrinking of the world into a global village, aided by this technology, social media, cinema, and all that. Some people just want to be, as you said, to be seen. So they are copying some of the stars, particularly females. If the displayer, if I may use that word, that is the lady who you have said is displaying all these things, is not doing it for attraction, then she's off the mark. Because, as I said at the beginning, ladies, because this your interview on this is centered on women, ladies are not supposed to be promiscuous and they are not to show any sign of either inviting the opposite sex but today as i said look at what you see on television see the thing they do to promote their records video and all that. sometimes you wonder and say why do you put on mosquito net at all why don't you come out naked uh, 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 corrosion of high class culture shrinking the meaning of values. Well, we are talking of the real, genuine, unpolluted, and not commercialized. There is a borderline between normalcy and abnormalcy. 
moderation and excessiveness. It is when you cross a line that you cross either into abnormality, excesses, show off, idiocy, and all that. But once you meet on the line or behind the line, you are perfect. You are perfect that. Another thing, which is the social aspect. Of all, there are many genres of music in Yoruba land. You have the Apala, Sakara, Waka, Weary for waking up Muslim during Ramadan, but now modernized by the late Dr. Sikirua in the Baris Time FR, the so recipe, now called Fuji. In the Juju genre, you had frontliners. Who, yes, the umbrella was Juju, but they had special styles. Akedaro, this, Delio Joe, Tunde Nightingale, and the Bakari. Suberoni, uh, and all that. It is the style of Tunde Nightingale, which he branded Owambe. Owambe. And what is, what is Owambe? Owambe in English means it is there. Right? It is there. So the question is, Kilo Wambe, like I did now, waste beads when they dance in public those days. I'm talking of the, uh, the, 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 the mature dances, parties, because rest is sweet after labor. So the women, they shake their buttocks and the singer. Now, many bands copy our copy to the Nightingale, who is late, the so rest in peace. So, to the Nightingale, we now move to the microphone because they used to play seated in those days. And the women are dancing, and she and he just asks, Show and bear. And one of the band boys will say, Oh, and bear, that is ah. The women dancing before us, we can stand. That's it. From time immemorial, what you can call talisman made popular by Indians form of bracelets, sometimes uh, amulets. But some people don't want to wear amulets because you are going to ask, what is this for? Or the ones by the biceps. No. So you look this private since you are going to wear dresses over them. Maybe. Maybe. Those you have just described, the ones who are attacked, man or their male lovers. So they may resort to such things or rings. So if you don't want suspicion or embarrassing questions, they may be using it for what you have just said. But I'm talking about the natural. They may not be prostitutes, but can put it under the umbrella of waywardness, shakara, emptiness, wannabe, copycats. And as I said, because of the shrinking world, jeans is a foreign dress. So if you know you are going to wear jeans and still wear beads, you know you should apply a bit to the wearer that he or she must wear either a loose dress that will cover the beads, or if it's going to be top that it will be tucked in and cover. It's not all these things we see, particularly on motorcycles or other passengers. They are using their left hand or their right hand to hold down skimpy top people without beats once the machine is on motion and wind is blowing so you see some lady having to hold that dress by the hand because of the exposure so somebody who has one beat and the wind is blowing the top gets exposed mm -hmm. or even if she's not riding a bike she's walking gets exposed because of the Skimpy dress. There is a saying which I heard for the first time in 1983 
when I was the press secretary to the then Governor Bola the son of blessed memory, there was a riot in the Polytechnic in Badon. So I just said government, and when I say I just said government, I mean the president of your and also states, set up a panel of inquiry headed by late, late Justice Ogundere. The day the panel came to submit the report, I was there, same press to chambers. And for the first time, I heard that expression, which I'm going to repeat now. So, Justice Ubundi said he was summarizing the reason for the riot, the violent riot in the Kultepe. He said, Frustration without expression will lead to explosion. The youth. Majority of the youths and even some old people are frustrated with the present system. Long before this government, look at everything in terms of education, morality, social life, there is poverty, kidnapping, banditry, people now sleep with no eyes closed. Before they say this, they sleep with all eye closed. When you walk on the system, you look over your shoulder. Even in daytime, so they are showing the anger against the system. When you open the pages of newspaper, you hear so-called leaders embezzling not again millions. Now we are hearing of trillions. So the youths, and as I said, even some of the leaders, they are angry. So they don't want even to do anything, anything to do with. Uh, that's not bad news.